Okay, it's my first how to and two. I'm going to be putting in electronic power steering in a 2015 Polaris Ranger midsize. So, here is my easy power steering kit I disassembled already from Super ATV. I already did an inventory of all the parts, everything's there. There's the instructions. Assemble the, uh, the dash, open up the hood. So, I'm going to take a few pictures as I go along and I'll add them to the video. 24 millimeter for the steering wheel. So, the nut was pretty tight on there. Uh, I had to put a strap around the steering wheel to keep it from turning. So. Just a little pointer. Strap onto there. Got a breaker bar, 24 millimeter. I backed it off about halfway. Then I put the uh, this on the nut and I whacked it with another hammer to help just break it free from the steering wheel because I saw that people had a hard time pulling the steering wheel and that broke it free very good. The steering wheel is, is now ready to come off. It's very loose. We've taken two screwdrivers at a time and just uh, popping the head up and then the whole assembly will come out together. And sometimes the center piece pops out, not a big deal, it goes back together. Places that fold them out are right here. Right in the front of the, from underneath the hood, there's this piece here, here in the middle, the far side, and then on the top. And I have some more that I have to get to from inside the vehicle. So, I had to look real hard to find this, but I had a T40 uh, star drive for these side uh, bolts to come out. Thankfully, I had one. So I found one in my, my toolbox. So that has come out and you'll see that there's other, other plugs underneath the steering uh, lever here, the plastic plugs, one over here. There's another one over there I haven't gotten yet, but you just gotta look all over for these. I wanted things. to show one issue I had was getting this boot off for the uh, steering control boot. There's these little metal clips on there, which you can see down here. So I use this tool to pry and get those metal clips off. Now this one here is not off yet. It's a, they really bite on there. So I was getting behind there and just working them gently, trying not to break the plastic suds. And so far I've been successful. I've got this one to get off and still one more underneath down here to get off. So quick update as to where I am. I did take all the uh, clips off the rubber boot, pulled that off and underneath that boot, there was this plastic piece and I, I kind of pried it with the screwdriver and finally took it apart as you can see. So that's on the steering column area up here. Now I'm disconnecting the tilt steering. I took this bolt out here, which is easy to do. And then I'm taking out these two bolts here, which they tell you to in the directions, uh, 15 millimeter just for reference. So looking underneath the uh, steering here, this is the tilt steering little actuator basically I had to disconnect the bottom section to get the uh, to get this out this is the, the uh, steering linkage here uh, basically this this slides down and it hits in here so this has to be removed to get it out so quick update I pulled the uh, upper shaft off and we sent everything in the, of the uh, four-wheeler for convenience and this bushing is on the new one now I took it off the old shaft and it tells you the instructions Change the bushing over. So I took it off here, put it over here, and also I started the install. So the lower shaft is installed. Make sure you pull the bolt out all the way uh, before you try to slide it on. Take that bolt out, slide it on, then put the bolt back in. Otherwise, your threads will hit it. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I've got the, uh, the motor in place. I connected it to the lower shaft. I still need to tighten this lower shaft. I'm reluctant to tighten anything just yet until I make it all fit. So the motor's in place. It's mounted to its upper bracket. The lower, it has to, these two brackets need to be attached to one another with these bolts and nuts that came with it. So that's my, that's gonna be my next step. So now I just installed the upper steering shaft. So I sl it slid right into here. I had to move it up a little bit. And then it slid right into place onto the top of the motor. So I'm just gonna tighten this next and go to my next step. Installing the tilt steering assembly. That was the next step on this thing, which is these two big bolts in this assembly. And then I gotta attach the, uh, the actuator portion, top and bottom, which we'll go to here in one second. The uh, tilt steering actuator. has to be attached at both ends here. It'll probably behoove me to attach the bottom end first. I'm put these down here. And you can shut Just it showing you where the uh, control box goes. It's mounted here. 
It's kind of right above this, the power steering motor. I want to tell that it was a little confusing. And the bolt that mounts it, you have to put in different direction than they show you. Otherwise the bolt actually will hit where the plug is. So I turned that around. It's mounted up here good. Also, you want to pull the, uh, the uh, there goes my jitter. You also want to pull the skid plates off from underneath because the skid plate, that gives you access to run all the wiring. I had to pull mine off anyway because I dropped some hardware, so it actually worked out good. So now I'm getting ready to hook up the uh, white lead to my accessory connection. So I'm going to put this crypt connection onto the white lead and hook it onto here, which I've already verified that that's powered with the key turned on. Just put the dash back into place and it's in its position. I gotta finish mounting the uh, this boot over the steering column, put a few plugs in, hook all the electrical stuff back up, like the cigarette lighter accessory plug, the ignition switch, the odometer, and then I'm gonna hook the uh, battery up to the new cables for the power steering. Turn the key on, make sure my little red light comes on. So the accessory is already hooked up here. So I got my accessory wire. I've reattached some other wiring to my winch in a different location. So everything's going good. Okay, everything's back together. I, just a couple quick things I wanted to point out. I did lose one of my little plastic plugs like that one. This one here, you see it doesn't have it. So I tried to find it, couldn't find it. Uh, one thing I want to point out also is on the steering linkage. Now this is the threaded end of the bolt right here. On this uh, linkage here. Don't tighten that until after your steering wheel is put on. Your steering wheel nut goes on and gets tightened. You, you have to push the uh, steering linkage up while you're tightening it, otherwise you, you just won't get enough thread sticking out to get the nut on. Once that's tight, then it's at the right length. Come down here and cinch this back up. Or it's actually the top one, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, you'll, you'll figure it out. It's not too hard. Uh, that's it for the project. Test drive good. I turn the... Uh, the key on, the light did illuminate, which it's kind of hidden now, but uh, all was working well. So I took it for a good test drive. And that is it. So I'm gonna, all that's left to do is close her up, put my Super ATV power steering stickers on it, and I'm done.